Hello guys, it's Kylie. Come back to you with another video. Um, I meant to upload this one a while ago. I didn't even get to film it. I started a new job, so everything was a little, not necessarily super crazy, but just trying to figure out when I could do stuff. But today I've come to you with my everyday makeup bag. Yay! Um, and then a little surprise at the end. Yay! So, um, you may recognize the bag. It is my June Ipsy bag. I like to use the current bag for my makeup. So this will be for the rest of June and then into July until I get my next Ipsy bag and then I'll switch it up. So I actually really like this bag. I think it's super cute. I tried to film this already. That's why the bag's empty right now. <laughs> so first thing I'm grabbing, starting with my blending brush. Um, this I just use as a bare blending brush, and it just, you know, just to kind of soften my crease a little bit. It's pretty handy. The next thing, my absolute favorite eyeliner that you still can't really see that well in the lighting. Although this is better lighting than it was before, so we're doing it. This is, um, the Smashbox Sharp. Wow, that was interesting. This is the Smashbox Sharp uh, waterproof coal liner in the, the color Violetta. It's awesome. Like, seriously, some of my favorite eyeliner. My favorite brand. Next, I use this concealer brush to pack down my shadow on my face. Well, on my eyes, not my face, but you get what I'm saying. I know it's not supposed to be used for that, but that's what I use it for, and it's nice. Next thing. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This has become an absolute holy grail item for me because of the fact that it is, um... You know, I, I went into Ulta yesterday, and I had put on my, my makeup probably around eh, 6.30 in the morning. It was about 8, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and it was still, my eyeshadow was still perfect because of this. So this is an absolute holy grail product for me. That one, this size is $11. Um, normal price is probably around like 20 22 24 but it's definitely a good purchase because it will last you forever. I don't even remember when I bought that. But I know it's changed my life. So. <laughs> or at least my makeup life. So this is the Royal and Ning Lang Nickel. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is their Revolution BX95 brush. This one I use for my crease. So. I don't know if that's actually what it's supposed to be used for. But that's what I use it for. And then next I've got my Eco Tools. This is just their tapered blush. Um you know, standard. It's good. It you know, does what it's supposed to. And then next I've got the Jelly Pong Pong. This is the Fairy Lashes Curl Mascara. I like the formula. Um the brush is not bad either, but it's a just kind of a nice mascara. I don't have any clips with it. I think I got this in either a boxy charm or an ipsy. It was when I was getting like a lot of mascara at the same time. <laughs> All right, then I've got this is my NYX can oh excuse me my NYX HD concealer in porcelain. This is really good for your under eyes. It works so well and it blends out not too bad. I actually use my uh, beauty blender to blend this out, so it's 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 pretty good. And then I have my Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics All Over Glow. The only thing I have about this, it's not very user friendly. I tried to put this on my face, so I tried to put it on and then blend it out. But once I put it on my face, it would not blend out. Like, it would just stay and not budge. Which is a good thing, but when you're trying to apply it and it's doing that, then that's not very helpful. The next... That I have is the Seraphine Botanicals Happy Hibiscus Blush. 
So the only thing I have about this blush is that, you know, it's a really pretty color and I like it. And I use, um, I didn't bring it out here with me, but I've got my, um, hourglass. I, I get the ambulant, I have the ambulant, ambient light powder. There we go. And mood light. So it adds a really pretty kind of glow to my face. So it makes this a little bit softer. My only thing I have about this, and I don't think you can see it with the way that the lighting is, but there's like dots, like little raised dots inside of the blush. Like, I don't know what that's about, if they're like minerals or what it's supposed to be, but it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Hasn't had any sort of weird reaction with my face yet, but, I don't know, it's just a little weird and concerning. So then my last item is my Japanesque. This is the Lumin Luminous Foundation in shade number 2. This matches my skin actually pretty perfectly, and I've probably had this foundation for about a year. It's getting down there where I'm going to need to purchase a new one because it's, like, low. But you can't really tell because I always store it kind of sideways and so it doesn't have a chance to, you know, go down like it's supposed to. The only thing I have about this is that I actually apply it with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Which I have here and I love it and it's my favorite. I realized how much I love to use this to apply foundation when I was like, wow, I don't even need that much and it does a great job. Awesome. However... I noticed when, because I put this on the back of my hand and then I'll pick it up with my beauty blender and put it on my face. And I noticed when I put it on my hand, it like breaks, like the foundation is separating and it's just kind of really weird. So I'm thinking that's just because it's a little old, so I need to grab a new foundation. I was thinking about, because it is summer here in Utah, so... <laughs> I was thinking about picking up a tart, one of the tart, um, their BB creams, and I don't know if you guys have ever tried their BB creams, if you could give me any opinions on them, but that's what I was thinking about trying, especially since I need something a little bit more lightweight. So, now for the, there's makeup collection, hooray! Now for the little surprise at the end, it's just a couple things I picked up at Ulta, and... This gorgeous blue bracelet that you can't really see that well. Let me see if I can... No, you still can't really. It's a, just this pretty blue and gold bracelet. And I got it from a place called Charming Charlie. And it was on sale. And it's awesome and super cute. So then for my two... Uh, for my other little repurchases from Ulta or... First time purchases. Well, this one is a repurchase. It is the full size of the primer potion from Urban Decay because my other one is actually getting to the point where I can't get any more out. So, I just went ahead and bought a new one because why not? So, actually, now we can compare a little bit size-wise. You can see that this tube's a little longer and a little wider this way than that one is. But this will last me a while before it gets to the point of, you know, where I need to get rid of it. This one's at the point. <laughs> Plus, I'm hoping, you know what, let me even just check. Because when I opened that one, the doe foot, wow, that was, that was smooth. Real smooth. The doe foot was really strange and, like, broken. Please. Oh, nope, this one's okay. So that one is straight. As you can see. And nice and pretty. When I bought this one, I'm not lying, this is really how it was. And forgive the gunk on the outside if you see it. That's how it came. Like, I'm not even lying, that's really, it. it was broken like that. So, it's been a fun adventure trying to figure out how to use that on my eyes when it's like that. So, my second one. So, they redid all of their lipsticks. 
So now they have the vice lipsticks. I think that's what they were called before. Unless it's wrong and then someone can correct me. But the color I got was Rush. Let me open it and see if I can get it out one-handed. This is always the fun part. So this is what their their tops look like. I You can't really see it in the video, but the case itself kind of has like a purpley sheen to it. It's really neat. Let's see if I can get this open without it being hard to do. Ah, there we go. So it's just this really pretty, like, mauve, mauve pink color, which I don't really have anything like this already in my collection, so. And plus, I've been wanting to try some different brands of lipsticks, and I haven't really, aside from the primer potion, I haven't really tried anything from Urban Decay, except for that per perversion mascara I didn't like that I was trying to save for you guys to do, like, an empties video with but because we were in the middle of moving that was just not possible <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much what the deal is this month so i hope you guys enjoyed what you saw and if you did like comment subscribe uh let me know what you want me to talk about in the future bye